Hello Taurus, Salt Intuition Tarot here. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are staying safe. If you're dealing with a Taurus or you are a Taurus, this is your reading Cross Watchers. Welcome. We're going to see what's going on with your energy for Taurus. Remember to like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. And I really appreciate y'all. What's going on with Taurus? Okay. Manifesting something stable. Thinking about going to another path. Um, going on another journey. When it comes to uh, finances, you want to be stable. You want to find someone that's stable. You want to manifest that in your life. Even though you have had heartbreak in your life, you definitely want to manifest something um, better for yourself. Because you're very independent. People see you as being a very independent person. Which most horses are. Judgment. I had to make a judgment call uh, in the past. For someone in the past. What's this judgment on? Why are you judging this person? You had to cut out people, places, and things that no longer serve you. That's what the King of Swords does. Why are you cutting them out? Fell to the floor. Let's see. Because something was exposed with the sun card. You exposed something about this person. You may had to make a judgment call uh, after they, you know, put you through heartbreak and betrayal with the three of swords. I feel like you need to move on and move on fast. Maybe get ghosts. Some of y'all uh, feel like you really need to get away from this person. And you need to do it fast. Hermit energy. Uh, Virgo. That's what Virgos do. They go within. They go to themselves. Or that could be that you just feel like you need to get away from this person. Because they're very toxic. Looks like this person uh, has been putting you in some toxic situations with the devil here. Capricorn energy. we have for Taurus. Queen of Swords and fighting. Looks like there was a lot of arguments, a lot of fighting in the connection. You had to put your boundaries up because you're a very stable person. You don't want to let anyone in that's going to try to take that away from you. You have arguments. Could be in finances. Could be uh, just how things are going in your home life. Lack of communication is the cause of the arguments, whether they want to hear what you have to say or not. Looks like they're not wanting to hear what you have to say. Uh, it's really upsetting for you because you really thought this would grow with this person. You really thought that y'all would make it. Yeah, it was your happiness. You want to be very happy, very successful, very stable. But there was a terror moment, something shocking. Maybe you found out the person is not who they seem to be or who they portray to be. So some things came about that shocked and surprised you. Maybe there was a lot of drinking, a lot of uh, things going on with this person, too much celebrating. Um, just wanting to uh, this is a wish fulfillment though you know you're their wish fulfillment but they're toxic uh, they're doing toxic things they're arguing with you they're not wanting to find common ground and for right now death cards to the side that's Scorpio energy which means that y'all have not put an end to this yet. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about going away with the three of wands. I hope y'all can see this screen. I'll move it back a little bit more. 
You still haven't put a death to it. It is a heavy burden for you. You're slowly moving away from making an offer or moving toward this person. You're slowly trying to end and get away from this. You know things aren't stable and you need to. Things have to change. Or you're going to be slowly moving out of that energy. It's going to take all the strength that you have to do that. But it looks like y'all are. that's what you're working toward. If this person cannot get their act together or the connection, whether it be in work or love life, y'all. You're going to work very hard, though. You're going to keep up, you know, if you're, you're going to throw yourself into work, it looks like. The Nine of Pentacles. Even though you feel you feel like there's no another no thing to do, you know, a lot of people work to get over their heartbreak and sadness. Uh, for some of y'all, you feel like you're constantly working on the connection. Yeah, constantly working on this and self-sacrificing all the time with the Two of Cups and the Hangman. You feel like you have to sacrifice a lot in the connection and um, to even get it to get, even go anywhere. Why do you feel you have to sacrifice? Because this person has a fish in a cup. They're acting very immature. They don't take things seriously. They're not a stable type, type of individual that's really wanting love. Uh, they just come in offering you whatever. The cup's supposed to have you know, water in it. This has a fish. And you know how fishes are. They're very slippery. You cannot hold them in your hand. So this person's not someone you can hold on tight to. They're very slippery. Star card. They're hopeful that that's what you're going to, you know, star is uh, your dreams come and feel true. Uh, they think you're the star. But they're not offering anything stable enough to keep you. Uh, they're not putting in the work for the star card. Okay, the universe is telling you, and I hope this reaches you in time. The universe is going to give you somebody that's going to love you and, you know, just love the hell out of you. Uh, just for right now. Keep things to yourself. Get the structure back in your home life, your work life. You know, be like the emperor. The emperor likes structure. Um, they hold on tight to their emotions. They hold on tight to their things until they're sure that this is real. So y'all need to make sure that the connection is real. Whether it be that you're going to move forward with this person I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to work out, but if you're planning on it, keep things close to your chest. Four pinnacles. Uh, until you find what's real, okay? You need the realness in here. You need to be structured. You need to stand your ground. You need to make sure that this person is all about it, okay? Before you'd waste your time with someone like that. You need to get in a win at all costs. Do not back down. Do not lose your, you know, take down your boundaries for this person that's unstable. You're the stable one. You get that win at all costs attitude. And don't you back down, Taurus. All right, Taurus, that was your reading. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. And I appreciate y'all watching.